Hi guys, sorry for the background noise again. This always seems to happen when I'm at work. So we're a little bit echoey with a, a heater going in the background. I want you to meet Frank Sinatra again. So for a little bit of context, I again commented on the latest Frank Sinatra post on the official verified account and got hit up by this ridiculous profile um, in the comment section of the post saying, please message me. So I did. And the profile of Frank Sinatra stated that there was going to be a concert. So I said, who is this please? And why are you uh, looking at my comments on Frank's page? Thanks for being a big fan to me. I said, so this is Frank. Uh, when's the concert you mentioned in your post? I'd love to see that. Question mark, question mark. I asked you when the concert was. You told me in the comments that you have a concert. Did you not? To which he then sends this photo of a, a gentleman who's doing a tribute concert to Frank Sinatra, right? And the article. Please, I will want to see you over, please, he says. I said, so that's when you will be performing, correct? You're an idiot. You know that, right? You only just now found out he's been dead since 1998, you muppet. So bugger off, you fake. What do you, what, why did you insult me, please? How am not fake? Please take it easy, said our scammer. I said, because you pretend to be Frank, then realised he's dead and switched. Now you're saying you're not Frank? Or are you saying you're Stephen now? Yes, am I? What are you saying? Please don't get me confused. <laughs> I said, which is it? Make up your mind now that you've done some research. I said, you were born confused. Why is your page saying you're Frank? Same as your likes on the real Frank's page. Please, do you have Telegram? Chat me up there. Let's make video call it see you are confused or WhatsApp number. <laughs> I said, why on earth would I give my number or any contact details to an idiot who's also a fake? On what planet would I ever want to be friends with someone like you? Let chat and make video call, is that fine? I said, voice call me and show me that American accent. Now. And he went away for ages. I said, I'm leaving for work in five minutes. You will call me via this app in 30 minutes and let me hear that American accent or you'll go away like all fakes and idiots. Okay, WhatsApp number please, he says. I said, I told you, you can call here. I'm not giving a fake my phone number. Are you nuts? Send me your email, Frank, and I'll add you in Google Chat and call you there. Okay, PayPal, right? He says. I said, what? What PayPal are you jabbering about? Are you getting your chats mixed up, Frank? No, ma. Just need some little help from you, please. I said, why would I send money to a little fake who lies? So he showed me this stupid error message that says, you can't uh, call without an iTunes card. I wanted to call you on, but camera failed. Please, I'm sorry if you can send me gift card. Let me fix it and call you. I said, and? That's not how the cards work, first of all, which you know. And secondly, so what? That's not my problem. You're the one who's supposed to be famous dead singer. You pay for it. You're a liar, a fake and a scammer. I don't care if you don't call me. You can't prove that you're American, so you resort to begging. Go beg somewhere else, you little turd. It's not like that, Ma Ma Stephen. Send the card so that you will see me on VC, please, just for trust. I said, what the hell are you trying to say? You're not American, so you can stop. Buy your own cards, you horrible little maggot. And trust that you're a scammer and a beggar. I know that already. Okay, sorry, it's fine since you don't trust me. I said, no, I don't. I know you aren't American. I can tell by the way you write. So stop pretending to be someone so you can get remittance. You're terrible at it. Really, really bad. How? What the fuck are you saying? I said that you aren't American and that you're a scammer. That's what I'm saying. And you're bad at it. Try pretending to be someone who isn't dead. Am I dead or what are you saying? I said that you're a bad scammer. You're no good at this. Get a job. You know that on the real Frank's page, a bunch of us fans are laughing at you, right? Like actually commenting on how dumb you are because you're liking everyone's comments. Please get out of my DM. I said, gladly, you little amoeba. <laughs> he then sent a Frank Sinatra um, Gmail uh, address. Text me on Google Chat, please. 
I said, no problem, this will be hilarious. Please, just text. I said, I already did, you little cabbage brain. Stop insult me, please. I went, uh-huh. Right, I will read you the Google chat, but let me just get to this end one. How do you cop with your husband at home, he says. I said, my husband doesn't lie, steal or beg for money because he works for a living instead of pretending to be famous. Okay, sorry, you called me a lot of names. Thanks and goodbye. I said, thank God. Okay, babe. (laughs) I said, bugger off with both your phony Google accounts. I just got banned on my email in Google chat. I said, "Uh uh-huh, I don't care. You hit me up with another fake account in there as well. So I'm done with your idiot self. Get a life. Now I'll show you what I mean about both Google chats. So meet the Frank Sinatra um, account, right? So I was hoping to get this scammer really riled up. I said, so what do you want, fake Frank or Stephen or whoever you're pretending to be today? How you doing, babe? Said our scammer. I said, don't call me babe, I'm not your babe. And then, because he messaged me under a different name, I said, are you effing messaging me under another name as well, you little worm? And I'll show you that account now. Meet Solomon Godwin, our third identity for Frank Sinatra, who, right after the Frank Sinatra Google chat, this request appears in my chat, my email. Hi, says Solomon Godwin. I said, who the hell are you? And how did you get my email? Sorry, I was trying to add someone, it seems. This I a wrong email am sorry. Sorry about that. I said, no, that's bullshit. My email is very specific and people do not just get it wrong. Who the F are you? Sorry, like I say, and sends the photos of this poor man whose photos have been stolen. I said, who the F is this that you're pretending to be? Question mark, question mark. How? I say sorry. Am in living in Texas, ma. And now this is what the other scammer called me. I said, please go away. You're creepy and effing weird. Sorry, what happened? He said. I said, you're a little turd who pretended to be Frank. I can tell by the way you write, you little shit. No. I said, yes, you are. I can tell. You're not American, so stop pretending. Who is Frank? Am Ivica. Please don't know what. So here's a fourth fourth person, Ivica. I said, you're an idiot and your English is so bad. Sorry. I said, I know who is Ivica. You're just effing demented, aren't you? How many clients are you trying to message at the same time? Because you're really bad at this. Sorry, I said, I mistakenly chatted you here and you don't know me. You insulted me just like that. I said, you're that little idiot from Facebook. I know it. You know it, and now you're trying to uh, another scam and character F off, which he did 22 minutes ago. So that was my morning on Facebook. Um, Sorry again that it's at work and it's really echoey, but that's Frank Sinatra and his four different personalities. (laughs) Have a great day, guys. Bye.